Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Golfing the Villages. On today's show, we're making our way over to Evans Prairie Country Club in order to complete the Evans Prairie Trilogy. In case you haven't been following along, or if you're new to the channel, welcome. Amy and I have previously filmed at both Killdeer and Egret, which are two of the other nines located at Evans Prairie. Those videos can be found among the channel's playlists. Today we finally get to tackle Osprey, and incidentally, this is the first time ever I have played this course. Today we're teeing it up solo, and so I decided to play from the gold tees, which are one box up from the tips. Total yardage on the card is listed at 3,272, with two par fives and two par threes, so an even par round would cost you 36 strokes. This round has a bit of everything in it, and I hope it proves to be entertaining. We are in winter golf mode here in the villages, but I will let you be the judge of the course and green condition. So without further ado, let's get after it. All right, it is 12.32 p.m., and it is 77 degrees. Winds are 10 miles an hour, gusting up to 18. The wind is actually pushing here, so I'm going to get it started with a driver. Beautiful strike. Long, big, high bomb going into the middle of the fairway. This is going to be perfect. I didn't see it finish. Might have come a little short. I can't quite tell. Despite not being able to see it land from the tee box, it is right in the middle of the fairway and I didn't really swing very hard, I just hit it solid and it went over 280 yards. Uh, that comes into play on this shot, 132 and this is a pitching wedge. Beautiful strike, uh, maybe a little, a little left much. of the flag, looking at it, Hang looking on. at it, and this is where oh, I'm Oh, way shocked. long. Wow. Way long? long. How can that be? I should have learned my lesson from the tee box that the wind is helping. It's at least it's pushing out and I flew this pitching wedge like that. 15 yards past where I needed to be. Out. And so now right I'm struggling to, to pitch it back. And I've got this from off the green to try to save par. Not, not the start I was looking for after that drive. You can see the shape of the greens. And uh, some of them are painted, some of them are browned out. Now it is winter time, so Bermuda does go dormant. And uh, can't make a putt for bogey. Wow, double bogey from the middle of the fairway and 132 out. Yikes. Fun fact, the last hole was not a par five. Typically you see that in the villages, the first hole being a par five, but the second hole here is a par five, 550 yards. We have driver in hand. I don't believe that water's in play for me. Uh, just trying to hit a good drive and try to get it in the middle of the fairway. And kind of take that lazy swing and leave the face okay. open a little too much little and it's too leaking much. right. It's gonna go ahead and split the bunkers and find the, bunker the, on the, the rough right. there. A little too much fade. <laughs> Back to the action, we find our next shot. We are 288 yards to the pin. I decided I'm gonna just go ahead and lay up with a six iron, which should should be more than enough to get me uh, 88 or 100 yards in. Uh, oh, I thinned it a little bit. And oh, this shoot. is off the toe, leaking right quickly. Not a good strike. Okay, we'll it's find a penalty it. shot. I was able to recover the ball as it had just rolled into the water's edge. Right, uh, took my two club relief from the red stake, which you can't see off the side here, but uh, give myself a somewhat decent line. It's kind of browned out part of uh, the rough. 125 yards to the pin. This is a gap wedge. Too 
pretty much cut yeah, again. Strike was a little weird, um, kind of firm on the turf, and not too strike. happy with that. Coming up short there was not part of the plan, but I've got the 62 degree wedge in my hand, and I'm trying to just hit a little nip shot right in there, tight. And that's a nice oh, low launching nice high spinner, but I don't carry it quite far enough. So with the penalty shot, this is for a bogey now. Bogey six on a par five. Rolls it up to the, the cup Get and the dips oh. in and oh. out. Wow. wow. Unlucky tap in for a double. Oh my Buddha, that is some bad golf. So now we're on the third hole, which is a par four, 343 yards. You can see it sets up fairly easy here. Uh, I'm gonna hit a little left to right shot with a fade driver in hand. Let's go, kid. Ooh. Nope. Well, we can hard. Starting down the middle, but now peeling hard to the right. Not liking it. Ooh, it does catch the bunker. All right, playing around in the sandbox here. I've got a downhill bunker lie, 113 to the pin gap wedge. It's going to force it to come out low, but oh, nice. I kind of almost well, you got chunk it, out. it, which Yeah, no good. hit so, the big ball before next the little shot. ball, though. 75 yards now from the rough. You can see the rough's not too bad, just dormant Bermuda. Uh, this is a sand wedge. I feel pretty comfortable with this shot. You just, you know, obviously want to fly the bunker in front of you. Get it up high and let it stop soft. Go, go, go. And that's exactly what I do here. Great shot all over the Ooh, pin. Okay. Can't see gone. it finish, but it could have gone in. Might have even gone in the hole. After painting the flag stick with that wedge, you can see I've got this short putt to try to save par. Can we do it? Get in the hole. Yes, we can. Nice. Nice par. So we drive ourselves across the street and we find ourselves on the fourth hole, par three, 165 to the center of the green. I've got it playing 159 or 156 adjusted down the hill. Uh, the wind is kind of pushing across. I decide on an eight iron. Starting it on the left side of the green, oh, hoping so it stays over there, and it does perfect. This is a beautiful swing, by the way. Okay. And that is that right, is like where, right where it, it finished. Great, great shot. It's nice when you see the shot and you execute the shot. That's a great feeling. So this for birdie, just from off the green, not too bad. Now watch Had it. a good plan for this and rolled it up to the cup. And okay, not horrible. I've got a uh, better part of five feet, maybe four and a half feet for par. And I think I can make it. Get and I do, yes, nice. confidently. Nice putt. Coming off of back-to-back -back pars, it does tend to boost the confidence. The fifth hole is a par four, 328 yards. Pretty straightforward, looking to hit it on left on that bunker and then peel it back to the right. Well, too much and movement. It I didn't like my right, setup. peels right, but it peels a little too hard right, and I can't, couldn't tell if it was gonna catch the trap over the, or not over the bunk. from there, but I just didn't it like does my catch setup, the trap.
Well, kitty kitty purr from the sandbox, <laughs> 112 to the pin. Amy couldn't get a good angle of the shot because if she was behind me, the trap's really, really big. Apologize uh, for the angle. You can see I angle. just made my way in there. The flag is on the left side between the two traps. You want to carry the front one and, you know, not hit the far one on the left. I'm looking for the mouth of the green, just kind of trying to hit a fade, basically. Aim at the left side and let it peel back to the right. Try to stabilize myself and a little thin. It's okay. Not great, but it's on the left side where I was aiming, long. so we'll see what we got it's on the next shot. Too clean. Kind of dumbfounded that this thing hit and then rolled all the way down here. I uh, didn't really see that coming, but I've got this for my third. I've got to play it up the hill. 62 degree lob wedge, trying to get it okay, in it tight. Best I could do was to get it on the green and got to try to make this for a par. You can see the condition of the greens there. Oof. Yep. Well, lagged it up there, two putt for a bogey. Nice finish. Best I could do. I have to uh, try this to hit is an a interesting draw here. Hole. I don't know if it's I can number hit a six, par three, 168 yards to the Just center. I've got it playing 179 to the pin. The wind is actually hurting. I know the water looks like it's kind of going across and away, but it's actually in and, and hurting. This is five iron. I didn't feel like I had to absolutely nut it, but it did have to put a good swing on it. It still came up a little I'm short. I'm glad I hit the five. That one got eaten up. That's when it comes down to confidence sometimes. You're, you just get torn between club selections. But we're here, we're just on the front of the green, or uh, off the collar, I should say. And we're gonna roll this up for birdie. Amy's using the zoom. <clears throat> Not really a, a legitimate chance, just trying to get it close and didn't really do a great job there. So I've got this long putt to try to save par. A little too much pace. And that didn't have a chance. Take a break. I uh, put way too much pace on that. So that was me, that was all me, obviously. And now this for a bogey, and yep, yeah, in the nice hole, pie. not bad. Thank you. Number seven, par four, playing 376 yards, so not, not bad. Uh, I'm looking at the two bunkers kind of there on the left. I'm actually looking to start at that rightmost bunker with the driver and uh, you know fade it off that into the into the wide part of the fairway. So that's my plan and let's see if I can actually execute it. Ooh, good strike, but it's a pull cut. and it's low and it never doesn't cut. Mm. This could be in a oh. little bit of trouble. Did it hop yep, in the bunker? It found the bunker. Yeah. Okay, sure. so what are you going to do here? Well, technically I'm supposed to replace it. So once I move the rake, the ball's going to move naturally, but you don't actually technically get that. Oh, oh didn't and it didn't move. didn't even move, actually. Yeah. So do you have to hit it from there now? Yeah. That's a heck of a shot there. Yeah, this is going to be like one foot. I mean, just to get it onto green grass is going right. to be... Let's take a look at it from a regular stance. I'm, There's I don't, the green. I mean, the green's down there. I just, I mean, I think you should probably just try to bump it out, you know? Just a little bump, bump and run. Yeah, I don't need too much loft, but I just need enough to get over the lip. So you'll see in a moment the stance. I'm not really good enough to. I mean, I want to try a hero shot, but it's like, I could definitely just hit this lip and then look at what my stance is going to be. I mean, what am I supposed to... To the fairway would be great. We'll try to follow it as best we can. 
I guess what I was afraid of is just it hitting the lip and then rolling back into the bunker. Okay, he got it. He caught it. I got more than I thought. It would... He got it. It is. I didn't well make the over fairway there. there. I didn't think I'd get that much, to be honest. No. We'll go find it. Yeah, it's in the rough. This is when things go sideways. 89 yards to the pin. This is a pretty easy I'm shot. Um, you know, I would say. It, uh, sand wedge in my hand. Uh, the rough is fine. It's it's pretty tight. So I'm just going to try to hit a good one. Oof. Man, Man I chunk it. It goes about a little fat. 24 or 5 yards. Yep, it's chubby. So let's see another one. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down here, 62 yards to the flag. Uh, still another uh, lob wedge, just trying to get it close. Oh, oh gosh. gosh, no, 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 no. I'm just getting And it just keeps getting you worse. Your confidence. That guy needs a hug. Sure did. This is an issue right, of confidence this. and execution. So Amy decided to switch it up and give me the front on view here, and you can see where my hands are, very nice technique. Just uh, really nice and soft, but unfortunately that shot was for bogey. I needed it to go in the hole there. Okay, line up your putt. What do you see? The high side's over here. A little left to right, but yeah. not much, right? Not much. Just a little on the edge. That actually might be the straight putt. Left edge is the call. I just want to get it mm. on a nice pace so it dies in the hole. Get and great hole. stroke in the hole. Nice putt. For double. Yeah, fist pump. You know it's a crazy day when you're fist pumping for double bogeys. All right, par five now, eighth hole, 491 yards. I was kind of confused because if you see where the tee boxes are, it's like a big L to the right, big dog leg right. So we pick a shot and go with it about and this that actually works good. out perfectly yeah. i just wasn't sure if it was going to blow through the fairway and the rough i mean that the water, it landed on the good. row of hedges where we were looking yeah so Yeah, blowing it through the dog leg there was definitely a possibility, but uh, good thing it stayed where it was. Uh, 279 yards to the pin. I'm just going to lay up here with a 9 iron and look, looking to give myself 100 yards. Great shot right in the middle of the fairway or on the on the right side Perfect. where I wanted to be. Yes. Thank Perfect you. fairway. Love it. Perfect layup. Because Maybe I should have fist pumped the layup because that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty happy about it. 88 it yards to the pin. Green. Got a sandwich in the not. in our hands. Uh, the green is in terrible shape, as you can start to kind of see, but you'll see in a moment. Um, just looking to hit a decent shot here. Let's go, kid. Yeah, pretty good strike. Good high, yeah, a little to the right, cool, right and cutting. But it's just fine. Yeah, I saw a big puff of dirt when it hit. It took a little bit of a kick backwards when it hit the green, but still an uphill putt toward the hole, and then it's going to break, yeah. or it should break, break yeah, back to our right, my break, left, but, but it did not. Maybe had a little too horrible. much pace on it and blew it through it. So I found a pretty flat putt here. For par. Hey, let's see if we can make one. Get in the hole. Get in the, Get hole. In the hole. Oh no, it just leaked oh, right, at the, right end. at the end. Brutal. Tap this bad boy in for a bogey. Yep. Get in the hole. Just to give you all a little look. See bogey, here. huh? This was the green.
More like a brown, but anyway, it's the ninth hole. Thank you so much for hanging with me. If you if you watch till this point, you're my hero. Par four, 437 yards. Uh, works a little uh, from right to left here, but I'm I'm gonna try to work one left to right into that trap and then back into the fairway. Ooh, hold it. it. Hugged it left, and Amy okay. said she heard it hit the tree. I didn't hear it hit the tree, but over in those trees. Spoiler, yeah, it over in the, the trees. Tree. And it was in play, it wasn't out of bounds, thank goodness here. Working on my Mike Tyson shot, AKA punch out, just to the middle of the fairway. Give myself a look. This is a little chippy eight okay. iron and asking for it to sit, sit, sit and sit. it's fine. It's in the middle of the fairway. Okay. Now in the middle of the fairway, lying two, hitting three, 162 to the pin. There is a strong hurting headwind. I've got the seven iron in my hand. I'm actually gonna try to hit it just a little bit lower. Uh, let it hit up there and maybe give, give a little roll because the greens are firm. And pretty good swing, Turn. loving it, posing on Into it, the wind. holding it. And looks like it's gonna be up there on the, on the left hole the ridge. high. I miss All right, so you see we can make our way to the green here, putting back down this ridge. Should move back to our left, my right, but bobbles and had too much Not pace bad. to take the break. So now I've got too much one pace, more but the right here idea. Yeah. that I've got to try to roll to make a bogey. This one's fairly flat. Just put on a good stroke. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? It How rolled right does over that the hole. Not fall? At that pace, a foot past the hole is holding speed. Talking to myself. Perfect Amy's holding speed is a foot past the pin. That was perfect holding speed. Why that didn't dip in, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know either. It should have dropped for me. Well, I am happy to stick a fork in today's round as I no doubt had my struggles on the course. I don't sugarcoat anything, and you get to see all the shots as usual. It's strange how much the game is mental, and such a battle at times. It seemed as if after I went long on the first approach shot, I got very defensive and lost that killer instinct I had after hitting that opening tee shot. The course fought back today with strong winds and crazy breaks, but this is why we play the game. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will see you on the course.